Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we will be seeing how we can play any game on a school Chromebook. So for that, I will be giving you out different methods or different type of games you can play. So first of all, we will see this one method where you have to search for Replit on Google. And after that, just open up the first website that you see on Replit. And this is how it will look like. All you have to do is just scroll down a little bit and this is how it actually looks like so all you have to do is just scroll down and then you will be able to see different games over here and different applications but all you have to do is just open up the games just like I'm clicking on this one and this will redirect you to here I have cleared out some steps here so you will be starting out with initial stages so in this game you have to eat the chilies and if you eat the banana then your length increases but it is a fun game and I have cleared out some stages you can also clear them out and after that let me show you the another way and the another game so in this game all you have to do is just search for Krunker IO and then click on the first link that you will see on Google and after initial loading the game will start and if it is blocked on your school Chromebook then you can just go to Google again and this time search in the search bar as browser fps.com and it will start the Krunker IO but through proxy and this is how you play this game now I will be telling you a different method of playing any game rather I will tell you that how you can unblock any website on your school Chromebook using this method so let's start it already let me close Krunker IO first and now go to Google and search for Google Web Store. After that, click on the very first link that you will see on Google Web Store. Just click on it. And this is how it will look like after it, you click on it. Then search for read and write. Make sure that you are writing the and symbol and not the spelling of and. And then select this second option, read and write for Google. And it will redirect you to this page where you will see this purple colored application or the extension just click on it then here it will say add to chrome since i already have it it is saying remove from chrome for me but it will say add to chrome for you just click on it and then add it as an extension after that open up a new tab and after that i will provide a code in the description just copy that code and paste it on your new tab copy this code and paste it on the search bar and click enter and then this screen will pop up all you have to do is just wait and let it load and after that just click on sign in options instead of filling in any detail then click on sign in with github and then click on github icon on the top then this github will appear hover around your cursor on open source and then click on topics then scroll down a little bit and not just a little bit but to the end then you will see this option of load more just click on it scroll down again to the very end then click on load more and scroll down a little bit and then you will see this option of Google just click on it and after that you will find this link on the right hand side just click on this google.com and this browser will appear in a different window just search for any game that you want to play suppose you want to play Roblox just search for Roblox here and open it up there are no lags at all and it works quite fine just fill in your details and you will be able to play it and that's how you do it i hope this video was helpful make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos